Welcome everyone to Iowa Rock and Roll Music Association's Hall of Fame induction weekend. Special guest with me, and I would just like to have him introduce himself and tell us a little bit about your story. I'm Steve Farrell, and I started uh, the group The Pendletons in 1965, and we uh, worked the circuit in this area for six years, and now we've come from all parts of the country back here to reunite and play together for the first time in 52 years uh, tomorrow night at the induction concert. So we're having a ball. So 52 years, yeah. how does that feel to collaborate again with your bandmates after such that time away from, from performing live? Well, I can understand you're asking since 52 years ago, you didn't exist. So uh, once you've been 52 years away from anything, I think you'll have a hard time remembering it. And if it happened in the 1960s, that only increases the likelihood that you have very few memories at all. So we're making memories now that we hope we'll retain uh, for decades. <laughs> oh, I think that's exciting, and, and you're true for the most part there. Um, tell me a little bit about how you were able to collaborate as a group um, early on in your career, and maybe some of the, the fun places and memorable places that you performed. Well, uh, certainly the ballroom circuit was the, the most fun, and uh, the Val Air Ballroom was a place we worked many times because we came uh, out of West Des Moines and um, headquartered in Des Moines all of the years that we were together. So that's our, our favorite venue probably. We also loved a little place called Nowhere, K-N-O-W, Where, that was in uh, Des Moines back in the 60s and was kind of our uh, regular gig. We'd play there four or five times for it uh, compared to anywhere else. So. Do you have any fun stories from the time that you were performing with your band, either uh, a story that the, the band got into together or just a kind of fun memory or something that you'd like to share? Well, we had a blast, first of all, but uh, one of our members who uh, unfortunately died in 2004, but he, he was Bob Beavers was his name, and we called him Hell's Beavers, like Hell's Angels, uh, because he rode a motorcycle and he was... Um, uh, a little bit crazy, but he was also exceedingly popular with the girls. So about half of our gigs, they'd finish and it was time to load the equipment and start heading out on the road and Bob would be gone. Uh, and I suspect that uh, there may be a lot of younger people at the concert tomorrow who will resemble Bob a little bit and were the result of his very busy post-show life. Understandable. That yeah. okay. So we'll be I on the. Apologize for him <laughs> to any of you watching. We'll be on the lookout tomorrow. Yeah. I think. Yeah. Good idea. Yeah. Very good. So can you share then the names of your other bandmates, and that'll be with you. Sure. Uh, joining us for this reunion: Mike Waters on guitar and Tom Stevenson on keyboards. And then I'm using uh, three musicians that I've been working with for for the last several decades long since the Pendletons. So there'll be six of us performing, three will be original Pendletons. Well, we are very excited to have you and to Thanks. see you all perform and congratulations on your induction again. Thank you, it's been a blast. Have fun.